Now that is elk scat right there, Nathan. Yeah, that's elk scat. Or, or cat scat. No! Back off road. Hey guys, welcome to TFL's new video series, Go Big Again, where we're gonna find out who built the best family hauler back in the 1990s. And the answer is obvious, it was Toyota because I am driving a 1995 Toyota Land Cruiser. What else do I need to say except for, I wonder what Andre brought. <laughs> I disagree because I think Chevrolet built the best family SUV of all time actually. So what year is your Yahoo? What? It's it's a 1998 Chevy Tahoe. It's not a Z71, but it's a very special one. It's it's got a lot of features and it also has a G80 in the back. So I think it's good. Couldn't afford a Suburban, huh? I wonder what Nathan brought. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah, that's a little bit. You know, it's an interesting thing because when you benchmark other vehicles, what you're doing is you are creating a better vehicle, right? I mean, that's proven by science. And Andre, since you took my little shtick, I'm gonna take off my hat dramatically. What? That's right, and I'm gonna tell you guys that in 1997, when Ford built this vehicle, Expedition, they weren't kidding about the name. You could take it on an Expedition, not on a little camping trip, and not to the Serengeti, but on an Expedition. All right, let's be real. Uh, the Expedition is the poor man's Yahoo, which is the poor man's Land Cruiser. What? No, no, yeah, no, 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 no. It's quite the opposite. As a matter of fact, people from Land Cruiser who couldn't, I don't know, drive up a highway because it's too slow, they would go to a larger V8. Hence, the, you used to call it a Yahoo? Okay, and of course this, which has, by the way, the large V8 in it. out which of these three is the best 90s family hauler we're gonna put them through a series of challenges and as you can tell today we're gonna do one of the favorite things we love to do and that is go off-road all right so I was making a lot of fun of Andre's uh, Tahoe not Yahoo and of course Nathan's expedition because let's face it the Land Cruiser is by far the most iconic off-road worthy vehicle not just in America but in the entire world and this 80 series this is the one that is the most loved the one that looks like a giant Tonka toy and of course the one that is the most sought after so this is by far uh, the most expensive one of the bunch we actually paid um, 15,000 for this Land Cruiser and that's because when they build them at the Land Cruiser factory, they're built to go not 100,000 miles like the Tahoe and the Expedition, but a quarter million miles. And so people value that, and that's why they want them. I think it's kind of cute that Roman brought a Land Cruiser and Nathan brought a Ford Expedition to this series because I would wager the Chevy Tahoe is I mean, it's decided. I mean, it's the best selling right now. It was the best selling 10 years ago, and I believe best selling 20 years ago as well. And why is it best selling? Well, because it's the best. Why is it the best? Well, right now I'm sitting in this GMT 400 version of it. Mwah! And it's like a couch. I'm relaxed. I've got my four wheel drive low engaged. I don't have anything else to worry about. I have an automatic 
locking differential, basically the G80, that when it senses slip, it actually locks in. But, ooh, a little bit of slide. That's a little scary. Um, but I'm ultimately relaxed. This is a good news, bad news situation. Good news if you enjoy sliding, bad news because we're sliding a lot. These tires have absolutely no grip in the snow and the slush. Uh, I've been sliding all over the place. I've had to actually detour and go around trails. It's a little irritating. The suspension in this thing is ideal. It's got great articulation for what this is. The previous owner gave it a little bit of a lift and it's just, it's pretty burly underneath. And it's all for not. It's all for you know, lack of traction. Uh, tires that I honestly don't really think should be used in any type of uh, cold weather. And it just really bumps me out, you know what I mean? Not to mention the fact we're hanging off the side of a cliff and we could slide off at any moment and become a heaping pile of burning Ford. Uh, I'm not happy about that either. Yeah, so they were built to go a quarter million miles. So while this one has over, just over 158,000 miles on it, that's nothing for a Land Cruiser. And it is lifted, but unfortunately, uh, this one does not have triple locker. So it only has a center locker, which makes it a little bit less desirable off-road. But nevertheless, it's still a pretty epic vehicle. And it will do everything that I ask of it, and then some, because that's the way Toyota designed it. Okay, so I've scraped using my front I, ho I hope it's a skid plate. Oh, that's f close! Ah! I almost touched my rear corner. <sighs> Sorry about that, guys. Maybe I'm a little bit out of my element with my stock ride height and my tires. Uh. All right. Oh. Well, that mirror got hit hard, but momentum is your friend. And, uh, whoa, sliding, sliding, sliding. Mother, I didn't say it, didn't say a bad word. I'm trying to avoid bad words. Oh, uh, shut up. Whoa. You know, guys, there's a surprising amount of snow out here this late in the year. Well, yeah, this is the northern part of the mountain, so there's a lot of shadow and the snow sticks around. Well, the Land Cruiser's just eating up. Let's keep going. Come on. No. Whoa, whoa. No, we are we turning around. What? Why? What? Because there's no way my vehicle can go any further. That is deeper snow. I have no traction in the snow. You're laughing at my misfortune. I get it. Can we say in the mud and snow, the Land Cruiser rules the roost? I, no, no, you know what? No, I but okay, not, all right, let's keep going then. Tire. No, let's because you've got tires going. that can handle this stuff. He's got a lift on his truck. I do too. But the point is, is that I, I've got a two inch lift. But, but there's a point here, which is you have the tires that can handle this environment. We don't. I'm going to say uh, half a point to the Land Cruiser. But let's go back and we can take it up uh, Tombstone Hill and see how it does when it's not wet and muddy. How about that? Okay. Nathan, you are sliding all over the place. Is it is it those uh, tires? Is it the four-wheel drive system or is it the driver? I'm gonna go with driver. Just stand by while I get a pen and pencil together and a paper to write down your pearls of wisdom. It's the tires. And Andre, that, that Tahoe is too pristine for this. I'm sorry, but I feel like you're putting a classic into harm's way. Uh, yeah. I have one inch on my left and an inch on my right, but at least I'm not slipping and sliding all over the place. I will pay you real money if you actually go a little bit quicker. No, this Tahoe is a museum piece. It cannot go faster. <laughs> yeah, Wait, did you see the driver's the museum piece? No, the vehicle. But well, boys, uh, this Land Cruiser is just eating this up. It doesn't care. It's having a fun day in the snowy mountains. And it just proves once again that this is by far the best 90s family hauler because it could do it all. Really, can you go even slightly above the speed limit up here in the Rocky Mountains, anywhere? Are you referring to my over 200 horsepower straight six, Nathan? Is, is that a joke? Sure, 
it's not really a joke. It's just that you're driving a vehicle that weighs as much as Tokyo, and you have no power to go up and over a hill. Andre and I have no problems. We can casually drive over a hill while towing. Yeah, well, that'd be great if we were doing the on-road towing challenge, but we're doing the off-road challenge, dude. So, you know, that just falls on deaf ears. Fall on deaf ears? My engine is 5.7 liter, 350 cubic inch V8. And 255 horsepower. So that's American goodness, my friend. And you know, the more horsepower you have, the better off-road it is, of course. Oh, no, never mind. It's the opposite. It's not the opposite. Did I say that I have over 330 pounds here of torque? Does it matter, Andre? Does it really matter off-road? Yes, because I can just idle across this terrain. I'm not even using my throttle. So we know that, don't we? Yes, you are idling across this terrain. It's absolutely nerve-wracking for people who need momentum. There's only one way to put a bow on this episode. And that's head over to Tombstone and actually try taking them up a steep hill. That's right. Uh, see which of these uh, three does the best. But there's a little twist. You want to know what that is? We have to bring our dog. Nope. We just dragged each other's cars because these were family haulers. Uh, so we can all explain why Andre's dog is the best dog in the Land Cruiser. Yeah, that's right. Because it's the best dog in the Land Cruiser. Yeah, it's not the best dog in the Land Cruiser. Land Cruiser. No, these are trucks, my friend. Trucks! All right, trucks, Andre. Hi guys, this is Tombstone. Yeah. Why are you not excited? What are you talking about? I said, yeah. Oh, okay. So but it's dry. It is dry and it will test articulation, break over, traction, but let's put a little spin on it. All what? Right. Well, these are family haulers. So you guys are the family. You're two like bratty 10 year olds. I'm taking to school. We're really big 10 year olds. Yeah, and sit in the back and I'll drive. And then, you know, you'll be like, we're going to sit in the back of this. Right. Yeah. And yeah. you're going to drive. Yeah, to see how much room there is. Oh, he needs weight over the rear axle. I, I think that's what he wants. Are you saying that we're all doing this with all three vehicles? Dare I say too much weight. <laughs> yes, all three vehicles. God, now a fat joke, really. Hey, look at this. See, I got a button here. What? It's got a little locker symbol. I've got a center locker. Well, do you have a rear and front lockers too? No, I don't have those. Oh, yeah, that's right. But I do oh, have... Yeah. I do have a low range, which engages very simply just by pulling the lever back. How cool is that, huh? That's a cool lever. Yeah. yeah. I, know, my, I have a dial. You have a I dial. Have a button. Hmm. All right. Well, Dad, take us to school. All right, we're going to go uh, up first, uh, Truth, and then there. Nathan, do you want some tissues? Uh, because you've been crying a little bit. Shut up. <laughs> Keep your arms to your side of the car. I'm sorry, I apologize. Oh, well, what's happening, Roman? Are you well, having it issues? simply go into low. <laughs> you sure seem cool. Doesn't seem to want to go into low. <laughs> it's okay. You have to manhandle it. <laughs> Maybe we don't need low. Oh, you know what? Low is oh, a Toyota. Mm -hmm. You have to be perfectly level. Yep. You have to swing a cat over your head. That cat. Yeah. Sacrifice the chicken. Yes. You feel that articulation. You feel that grip. This thing uh, is just eating it up. See. You have... A solid front axle. Yes. 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 Uh, that is ideal for this environment. I agree. But Andre, yeah. When mommies and daddies go through parking lots and onto highways, do they want a solid front axle? They want independent front axle. No, they want the dependent comfort. That's What's right, it, guys. You're doing the wrong review. Those reviews and challengers are coming right now. We're off-roading. Okay. So stick to the off-road bit, which this thing is just killing. His knees well, are on the side of the, of well, the truck. His knees are on the wrong side of the truck. You know, uh, you when tell a, him what to do. What, what, You're in charge. Be an uh, adult. No, no. Uh, when a truck is good at off-roading, it looks boring. It, and this is excellent at off-roading. And, 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 and that's why it's boring, because it's not spinning tires. Keep your hands to your side of the truck. Romani, his hands are not staying on that side of the truck. Are we there yet? Oh, okay. There, there you go. Have a treat. Well, there it is. Uh, <laughs> just shut up and have some baby M&M's. <laughs> this, is, this is all great parenting advice that we're giving. Yes, it's the old 
Mm, thank D you. Distract them with candy. <laughs> <laughs> Works, huh? Yes. <laughs> Worked on Andre at least. Are you yeah. sharing Andre? No. No, no he's not sharing. <laughs> you have to he's admit. He's only sharing his knees. You have to admit it does have a comfier ride, right? It's like, this really? is all oh, about it. Yeah, my, my Ford will absolutely destroy this in terms of ride comfort. You think? Oh, yeah, guaranteed. What about my wonderful Tahoe? Do you have coil springs in the rear or? No. Oh, leaves. yeah, leaves. Ah, welcome back to the 1800s. Do you mind, shall we? <laughs> So far, this thing has not put a wheel wrong. No, it hasn't. It doesn't need any traction. Oh good. my god! Except for the. Oh! oh! For God's sake. Shut no, up. no, I really did hit my head. Oh, so you but hit your head. That is child abuse. It's a handle. I, well, yeah, but what am I going to do? I just hold on to that. I'm going to hold on to this one. And it's ironic that this has the least amount of space yet the most seats, isn't it? It is kind of funny. This is a seven seater. Yeah. I'm a six seater. <laughs> yes, yeah, that's right. You're I got a, a bench seat that can hold a third person. And Andre, of course, couldn't afford the Suburban, so he's only got a five seater. Oh, my, my Tahoe is mwah, pristine. The, the pristine part, it's still only old type people. It was pristine when we. Yeah, it's before just we five started. minutes. <laughs> All right, this is there now. I'll be quiet. This is there, and this is usually where you know these trucks get a little bit sideways. But I think this thing, once again, won't care. We're coming up to the hard part. I will take the hardest line, boys. Of course you will. The hardest line. Yeah, that's. I will not avoid. Look at look at all the articulation we got going on here. Check yeah, this out. Right, look, you will not be able to do the hardest line, Andre. Well, well the hardest without line without taking out your bumper. I don't want to test crack my bumper. You're practically a Corvette with your ground. Look at this. This doesn't even care. Not a wheel spinning. It doesn't care. Okay, so we found out that Land Cruisers are great at off-roading. Wow, knocked me over with a feather. Well, Roman, you have proved your point. <laughs> Land Cruisers are super good off-road. Who's next? Uh, I think uh, you are, Andre. Oh, yeah. me? Yeah. yeah. It was the... Ooh. He's trying to get at it. <laughs> Well, boys, what do you think? I think I got my own temperature control. Here. Heck yeah! This is nice. way more comfortable. Yeah, yeah. These seats are like cush, man. Yeah, this is. It's like being on the couch in my living room. Yeah, I, I think this was definitely designed for uh, comfort. Yes. And the question is whether or not it was designed for any type of off-roading, or is it just a mall crawler? Well, it should be a little bit more than a mall crawler because I do have skid plates. I oh, do have G80. Yeah. Yeah. And I have a vent here between my legs to cool myself down. Just a very special vent. You, want it. you love rubbing that in that I don't have that. Roman doesn't have that either. Yeah, I'm pretty cool down already. I would. I want a crotch vent too. You know, it's doing really well. Uh, a lot of head bobs will do. It's, no, no it's way bob. smoother than yours. Really? Oh my god, yes. I've, I've never it's, sat in the back of the Land Cruiser, so I don't know. It's it's just spongier. Yeah. And it's partially the seats and partially the suspension. Well, that was surprising. It did really well. Yeah, actually, it really It did. didn't spin a tire. Yeah. No, it, you did great. You had right. good traction, actually. Yeah, considering these got like, on-road tires, I'm impressed. Well, the RBF Goodrich. Oh, that's good. They're trail terrains, TAs, yes. so kind of mild. Kind They're of a mild. mild tire. I'm very familiar with those tires. You have a similar tire on your. I have a newer Sanford. version of it. Yeah. yeah. And uh, yeah, this this is not a big deal for the Santa Cruz, but it has good tires. I don't have hill descent control, though, guys. Yes, I you do. You have a brake pedal. I, I don't have 360 degree cameras. I don't have. Well, that wasn't a thing back then, right? Not really. You have two eyes. <laughs> I do have two. <laughs> By the way. The, the glass line is very low. I feel like I have really good visibility. I would agree with you. That's the cool thing about these old ones is that they had a really good greenhouse. Uh, then, of course, side crash safety made these doors much bigger. Plenty of headroom. Yeah. You know, I mean, this is much more... Um, I'm way more comfortable. Spacious, yeah. I'm, I'm more comfortable. That Toyota has just... Uh, I think it was just designed for shorter people. Well, <laughs> yes. Yeah, it was. Okay, now I'm getting a little nervous because we're going up there next. Yeah, no, this is going to be working. And, 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 and crunch and crack and no, but but Roman, we uh, you know this. We we found this at an auction. This was a pristine example. Uh, the whole frame is brand new. I mean, everything looks brand new. And now I'm gonna scrape it. Well, it depends on how you want to drive. 
Well, do you want to figure out if it's any good off-road, Andre, or do you just want to win by, you know, claiming that you spend too much money on it and now uh, it's too pristine to go off? Oh, we have to talk about price still. Yeah, well, that's we're, the yeah, end. Yeah, we're we're yeah. Done. yeah, I mean, come on. This is what we do. Things break. Things that are dear to you, yeah, okay. things that you're going to fret over. And let's, let's, let's think about it this way now that you're going up there, Andre, it's really all in your hands. You pick the line, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm not gonna force you to pick the hardest line, like, oh, right, you're really, not really hard. No, go, go okay. whichever way you want. All right, so let me judge the situation. That's a good place, right? Or skip plate. Uh, I have at least one, that's good. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, in the center, yes. I'm not too scared. Okay, I'm. I'm, I'm uh, hey! Ooh! Something scraped in the front. Ooh! That's actually doing really well. It's doing okay. Yeah. It hasn't really been spinning much. Oh, it's surprising. A little bit of articulation there. Yeah. Well, lost a little bit of ground, but nothing bad. All right, well, call me impressed. <laughs> yeah. And it's kind of comfy, huh? Yeah. I gotta say, the ride has been incredible. But Nathan, in your expedition, you have a very fancy rear suspension, right? I know, right? I know. I got a coil spring rear suspension, and it's not stock. They did some stuff. Okay. So, you know, I mean, I'm going to win. But the point is, is that, you know, how? Okay. And I was actually thinking that you would scrape more. I was hoping a little more scrape. I scraped a little in the front. Yeah, there was nothing that was notable. All right, well, let's jump in yours. Yeah. Well, first, we've got to get down this hill safely. Okay. Here's your ABS. What the hell's that? That's ABS. Ah! I was trying to figure out why it's so. Ah! Are we okay? I, I would say more, but the problem is the window doesn't go down any further. Why not? Because it sucks. What? So this is as far down as it goes. Bye, Suburban. Alrighty, boys. So, Nathan, are you, do you have your rear locker selected and stuff like that? Are you in four low? I have all three lockers actuated. But you're not in low? Oh, well, let's say it. Wait, you, did your, you guys did yours in low? I did mine in low. I did not. I tried it. It wouldn't go into low for some reason. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry to laugh. Um, let's see if mine in low. I just did the switch. Yep. Did you guys see the switch? Okay. I saw the switch. And, uh, but it's what, what three lockers are you talking about? Uh, <laughs> Andre, there's no three lockers. I know. Oh, ooh, already. already. So, just so you know, these tires have oh. bump kiss for um, grip. How can you have a tire with bump kiss for grip? I didn't think it was possible, but this is even more comfortable <laughs> back here. But you can tell why are we slipping constantly? Shut up, yeah. I already warned you guys there'd be some slippage. There's quite a bit. It's like we're driving this on Jello. Is this the heaviest of it? Uh you know it might I think it is heavier, yeah. It, it feels it feels it was a burnout. Does this window go all the way down? Ah, it? try it. Try it. Let's see how far down it goes. Uh oh look at that. Oh, oh I win the window war against Andre. Yeah. 90% down, Andre. That's what, pretty what good. Can you try your window? I mean, mine goes all the way down. It does? I'm just saying, I don't know. Okay. I've never been back. <laughs> way back? In the Land Cruiser, yeah. There's no hill well, they descent just, control. It seemed okay other than the tires. Right? Yeah, the tires in this thing are dreadful. I think the tires do let it down, but actually the suspension is really good. It is yeah. really good. It's yeah. super, super squishy. Yeah, I, I, the articulation's good. If I had to go, you know, on the Switzerland Trail, the whole thing, I would definitely want to do it in this. Yeah, I went over some washboard earlier, and yeah. it was really good, surprisingly good. Um, Did you air down your tires? <laughs> He's got skull and crossbones on his. I got skull and crossbone on my, my wheels, yo. Yeah. Who needs to air down? Well, you can feel the weight of this thing for sure. You can really feel it, especially because the brakes are super squishy. <laughs> Just so you guys know, as we're heading downhill on loose dirt and with tires that have crap traction. Just know where your emergency brake is, Nathan. Do you know where that's at? Uh, <laughs> no, you don't know where it's at. Good. It's a pedal. <laughs> well, you're going to be the one that hits whatever we hit first, so please There's don't no hit hitting. There's a, it's the either Tahoe the Tahoe or a cliff. You're, you're our crash zone there, Nathan. Oh, the I Tahoe am. is precious. Please. <laughs> <laughs> I got a little bit closer to it than I wanted to, I can tell you that. 
Right. Um, what about there? Yeah, yeah what about this, it? This is going to be. I don't think test. the truck will ever make it up. Uh, I think I'll make it up. I think maybe just, Nathan's method. I My method always works. It'll just be a little, little, um, little tire spinny. That's all. Plus, Nathan, <laughs> you have to thank us because we're adding weight traction to your rear tires. Yes, at least a thousand pounds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, it's a funny thing because this thing really is fine without that weight as well. I would say it drives just fine. Although, Andre, you should eventually look at certain numbers like payload and towing and stuff like that in the future. Okay, well, let's start. Yeah, for future for exactly. A gauntlet! Oh, my. If we're moving forward, then I'm not slipping, right? No, no, I mean, you're moving forward. All right, here we go. Here's the hard part. Let's see how it does. Oh, it's doing it. Whoa. Yeah. Where the kind of I can be stuck on the accelerating. He got it. Which got me out of stuck. Got it. Got it. You're stuck. Ha! All right. Well, congratulations, Nathan. You made it up there <laughs> using the Nathan method, of course. Yeah. Well, I got to tell you that uh, I was very, very unhappy on the snow. You guys have already seen that footage, and this worked better. You know the problem, Andre, is you can get a front-wheel drive Camry up this hill using the Nathan method. <laughs> well, not over there. There won't be much left of that. Not on dare. You won't get a Camry up that. I guarantee it. All right. Well, let's go uh, and tell the fine folks how much we paid for all these. Because price matters, right? Yes. Price or always it. matters. Or does it? It always matters. I pulled down the window, but it doesn't work. One flop. <laughs> yeah. The poor man's poor man's Land Cruiser. Oh, come on! some issues. There it goes. Oh, thank you. Oh my gosh. Should I safety lock on this thing? No. Yeah. Child safety oh, lock is on. Child safety I lock didn't do it. <laughs> you just you can't deal with it. This is the difference between Land Cruiser engineering and Ford and Chevy. Check this rear window out. Look at that. Okay, it's coming, it's going, it's going, it's going. Hey, Wait, what? Yeah, dig all the way through it. Congratulations. <laughs> uh, how close is your head to the roof? It's how close are your knees to the front? Look at this. Come in here. Look at this. Uh -huh. well, look, the I, ugly truth. I can, of... I can move this. Uh -huh. I, yeah, I can't move the seat back. Yeah. <laughs> but exactly. Look, look at my knees, guys. Yeah. Yeah, but look, my look at this. But my window rolls all the way back. All the way down. And look. Look at this. One touch. I have one touch. One touch. I have one touch down. <laughs> one touch down? Yeah. So really, your window goes down, you have no knee room, and your headroom is compromised. Yeah, winner. Tahoe legroom. A little bit better than the Land Cruiser. Nice. Look at this. The best legroom here. Expedition. Andre, how much did you pay for yours? Well, it's a beautiful condition Tahoe, which means I paid just over 9,000. And uh, Nathan, how much did you pay for the Ford? 6,500 bucks. And yeah. how much did you pay for the Land Cruiser? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did buy that, didn't I? Yeah, in the last series you yeah, bought yeah, that. Yeah, in the last series. Uh, 15? Yeah. 15? 15? 15, yeah, yeah. And of course, being me, I, I took it over because... Yeah, it's, well, it's yours. As, yeah. as the young kids say, it's sick. Yeah. Well, uh, Nathan, so you win. I mean, I, of course I won this. You, uh, I won the whole the most, thing. Most affordable. No, most affordable. No, no, no hold on. No. My 50 50 percent window. This is not an affordability challenge. <laughs> this is go big again. We're not go big cheap. We're go big again. Well, ours are bigger than yours. It's <laughs> right here. Right all right, here. come on, come on. Don't be me. All right. <laughs> so I'm, I'm gonna adjudicate this. All right. Okay. okay. All right. Land Cruiser easily won three points. Yes. All right. Andre, you get two points. And Nathan, with the Nathan method and all that wheel spin, you get one point. Wait, 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 Why doesn't he, why, why, why can't he judge? Yeah, this is a little strange. We need Tommy because I had the best ride off-road, bar none, okay? I had the best comfort. And we had to turn around because of you, because you couldn't go any further in the snow. Okay, that's a point away, but I've got points that you're not awarded. And in addition, it's only three, three, two, one. That's easy. Oh, you got one now. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there we go. No, you got one. You got two. I got yeah. two. Next time, we're going to take them on the Denver 100 and see which one of these is the most fuel efficient 
And once again, we'll add the points and we'll okay. find out which one is the winner by the end of the series. This is such a silly comparison. And then performance testing, and then maybe even towing. There's a lot more coming. We'll get to see you guys next time. Ciao. And thanks for buying the Land Cruiser for me. <laughs>